Hello there guys, my name is Jail Gimpy Dwarf and today I'm joined by Xeno Boy or Xeno. Hello, yeah I'm Xeno now. <laughs> yeah, I keep calling you Xeno Boy now, girl. But we are looking at a ship in a spotlight, aren't we? Yeah, we are, and it's made by Dark Lord again. And it's called the Forge. Now what yeah. is the Forge? It is a maintenance facility that looks like something out of freaking Star Trek. It does. <laughs> However, for skill you can see the stairs over there, so it really isn't that big. Yeah, it's it's actually quite a nice looking thing. It looks it, those drawbridges and things just to give people warning. They do move. Yeah, and it's 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 very compact as well. Yeah, so shall we fly over to it and start off on the one side and work our way around? Yeah, that, that's a good idea. Yeah, so like a lot of Dark Lords builds, they take the mods that it uses and really does use them well. Like check this out. Check this out. <laughs> Wow, and however, this is broken. Yeah, um, the rotors, because when they updated, some of the rotors are broke. I think he's actually working on fixing them at the moment, but they just basically redestroy themselves. So I think he's just got the uh, displacement a bit wrong. Yeah, he got the displacement wrong. Yeah, so, but um, but again, that can be fixed in due course, but it's only yeah. a little thing for the ship. I mean, these Doesn't all really matter. rotate back around as well. But that's a really nice feature, because it enables you to have bigger ships in here if you want to, or smaller ships. So you can, you know, link up smaller ships onto these drawbridges or bring them down when you have a larger ship. Oh my god, these spotlights are boogie. <laughs> I know. Um, he does really like to use spotlights even though they're, you know, very... Uh... Not working? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So if we come down here and we're going to be walking under the archway now. You walk so fancy. I know, right? It's beautiful. Oh, oh baby, it's beautiful. <laughs> So he's actually got so, so many assemblers down here, if you look. And reactors yeah. and things like that. And the, what's it, the arc furnaces and things like that? Arc furnaces, yeah. yeah. So it goes, he had like 17 assemblers or refineries or something. Yeah, and he's actually got, um, he's actually allowed it so you've got these ports. So they all assemble the parts. Small ships, which are also on here, they're at the top. Will come down, collect the parts they need and repair, sh um, like repair the ships that are in here. Which is really, really cool. And I actually think he could probably do something with a projector block now. Yeah, he should. So like, he can make it like a... projector ship in here, you mean? Yeah, like projector yeah, oh, ship awesome. and then assemble it bit by bit. So it'd be really cool to see something like that, which I think he's probably thinking about already. <laughs> he's but, so um, You've got all these sort of different connections here for different things. Like you've got these are all the assemblers, blast furnaces. Um, and then if you wiggle around... If we wiggle around here... Up. And we got some more drawbridges coming up. Um, and the other end is to the refineries. So it's yeah. all quite spiced up, but still kind of the same. Yeah, but we can actually go up the arch right now if you want. Yeah, yeah, go. <laughs> so he's, awesome. got, he's, he's thinking a lot about controllability in these ships because he puts so many control panels down. I was about to say, haha, <laughs> controllability, control room. Yeah, they're just awesome. It's just like, it's well thought through because you don't want to be running half a mile to get to, you know... A hairy to control some. But I do like, like, come a bit down here, just a little bit. You walk and you see a random screen, but it looks very nice. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's just, it just, you know, it's things that you know you probably need in places like this. It feels like a good scenery. It, 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 it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just beautiful. It's so we come in beautiful. here, and we oh, actually have wow, bunk beds, awesome. and you can lie in them. <laughs> Wait, I can I lie on top of you? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens if I do it? No. Nope. Um. I've got to come back up the staircase. <laughs> I'm just going to take a look at the... Oh, ping pong! Hang on. Yeah, get over here. There's a ping pong table. Dude, I totally just, like went through the freaking world. Okay, I'm, I'm here again. Come, come play, play ping pong with me. Okay. okay. Um, Stand here with your gun. Uh, uh, I have a welder. Okay, also good. <laughs> I love this, you're damaging it and I'm like repairing it. <laughs> okay, so we've also got like chairs as well, which I'm scared to jump in now. What? Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Go sit in there. Well, what's happening? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you're just standing there. So there's still a few buggy things with some of the hitboxes and things, but again, it's nice to see thought put oh, into wow, where the crews would sit. Yeah, they're like actual like storage containers. Okay, but that's this area, so... Yeah, I'll so you got, you've got crew quarters where you can just chill out with nice views and scenery. Kind of Star Wars-y this uh, yeah. area. Yeah. Oh my god. And over here now? we have a kitchen. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. We have an actual kitchen and a few bathrooms. 
Oh, oh wow. that's awesome. Are there any toilets? Oh, there actually are as well. And you can get into the shower. Yeah, that I actually want to use that on some of my things. I've been telling everyone I want to use that. I want to use they that. They open and you can jump in and you can close them. Jay, open one of the toilet doors and hope yeah. I'm not in there. Oh god. Um. Um. Oh. And looking at me in the toilet. <laughs> So yeah, so he just put a lot of thought into what he actually, you know, what he actually wants to achieve and what things you'd actually need to take into account when you have a like a it station like this. Overdo it. No, it's it's very subtle. It feels like, like a level from a fucking R uh, FES. Yeah. Oh, this is this, that's what makes me think of. Are you upstairs? Where are you? Where are you? I'm upstairs. I went to the right. Okay. Um. So oh, there you are. So we can oh, actually walk oh. the whole way across the yeah. station. And get to like heliports, which I believe are up here, sort of things like landing ports. So you actually run all the way to the end of here. Yeah. There are actually like ports where you can, like, I think there's like landing a ship or something, or you can just cross over to get Let's to, the, go other to the, side. the other side. My god. So, should we, um, I'm actually going to fly a little bit just to show off a bit more of this. So, where it looks like he's actually got gyroscopes in this thing, so. He does have numbers set on the, on the pit. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering whether that's something to do with having mass ones of these flying. I think or it's like this is number 20, and they have he has a bunch of them. Yeah. So do you want to come back onto the top of the roof? I see you. Yeah. Hello. Notice me. <laughs> notice me, senpai. <laughs> so <laughs> I really like the trusses on there too. Like it gives it a little bit of mobility. However, you're probably not going to use it as a mobile mobile yeah. thing. Yeah. And he's also got if you look, he's got like, grinders and welders knocking around on the tops of this. Yeah. And they're working. Same uh, concept I used to have. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> so I'm actually in the middle of the ship now. Wow, this is an. Is this kind of a control area? I'm um, unsure. It's it, you can get to all your uh, thingies here. You got weird gravity fields. You know what's <laughs> that? My God. Um. So maybe is this something to do with gravity? I don't know. Dead end over here. Okay. Um. Let me just fly to the other end for time's sake. I'm just gonna run with you. Whee. Is that Mark. the same? Oh. Boink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so those end as well. So. Maybe Let's take the a look at the welder stuff over here. Yeah, so the oh these are actually ships. These are yeah. drones. These are drones indeed. Oh that's awesome. And he, by the looks of it with the amount of like gyroscopes and stuff he's got on them and oh wow. Yeah, these are drones definitely. Yeah. That is really cool. He's even got the welding section down here as well. Although he doesn't have a camera on them, does he? Yeah he does. Yeah? Yeah. Um they are Um I noticed the here we go, this side. Right there. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah, now. so he does have a camera on them. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Placement. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we can actually go over to the other side now. So if we just drop off here. At these sort of these. Where are you? Oh crap! Are you going down to the? Don't look at the red ship. Where have you gone? I'm up here. Okay, we'll 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 land down here. Okay. These uh, I broke uh, the red ship already. Yeah, there's still a bit of a bug with the game where if yeah. somebody who's joining the world basically doinks the ship, it does like take massive amounts of damage for some oh, stupid reason. This is a good idea actually, just placing a welder next to a landing gear so you can so it, grab onto yeah, something. Yeah, so it hooks onto it like with auto lock and then yeah, and sticks to it and grinds. That's pretty cool. That's a good idea. You should do this with sensors. I don't see a sensor. No. Yeah, on to the hmm. next one. You definitely take that as an idea, though. That's really yeah, interesting. For sure. So we come through here, and is there more ships down here? Room. Oh, control. Oh wow. It this looks. Is, this good. is elaborate. It's very purple. You can also stand next to the window, like General. What should we do now? Bomb them Destruct the ship. <laughs> Finish home. So that's really, really cool. I really like the idea of this. I also like the lamps. It's kind of in my color. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go down. So, is there anything else? I see more like pads down there. So we'll head down there and see what what what's occurring. What's what's occurring over there? Oh my God! So many stairs. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I'm just trying to walk them right now and just. Oh my God. Okay, so we're coming down these stairs. We've got back entrances to the uh, connectors again with pistons on, so they will extend. Okay. So those will extend out to other ships and allow them to latch on, which is they again are... well thought out. Indeed. Because some people build like you know connectors to be impossible to get to. 
Then we've got refineries that are really nicely placed. You can walk under them and over them. Yeah. I think I've just... Oh, here we go. Um, here's some more landing pads. Where? Where are you at? Um, where those where those uh, pistons were. Look behind you. Hello. Oh. So if you come over here, I basically just walked around up, up these stairs around the corner. Um, gravity does knock out around here. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so I got to the end of the landing pad and it knocked out and I started flying off. But there's actually another room in there. Is there? Yeah. A gravity room? Oh no, it's all, yeah, it's all, uh, things. Real refinery, I mean. Yeah, so this is, oh my god. What's down here? What's down here? What's up here? What? Nothing! <laughs> so it's actually got, like, some really... Unique. Uh, let's just keep it as unique. Unique. Stairs, and they, like, jump up and down, around, around. I'm just following you now as you run it. <laughs> and, then, and then we're back to all the refiners, which we actually... Oh, wow. Really That's nicely cool. done. So, I think we've uncovered everything about this ship, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we have. Um, I think it's a, one of the be better builds I've seen recently. Dark Lord really knows how to, how to push it. I mean, the curve on this archway is just beautiful. Indeed it is. I and mean, the use of slope blocks is just awesome on this. And again, the use of mods. I like these tires down here. Like oh, the yeah. actual shipping yards. Those are like bumpers. Yeah, like boom, 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 boom. So just Whatever. in case the ship hits them and they... Yeah, they just bump off. Oh, that's a really nice idea. Oh, wow. So, again, um, did we check the control room to see if there's any other piston things that he's grouped together, see so special features? I'm just going to put down a control panel. Sure, go ahead. Um, I'm just going to hang in the middle so I have a good view of what you're doing. Yeah, so if I go K, we have assemblies and art furnaces. We can turn them all on and off all at once. We have yeah. batteries in this so we can charge them. They're set to recharge currently. We have cargo refinery area so we can turn those on and off. Control station hangar, we can turn them off on and off. Um, we have lights for the crew mess hall, docking lights, which we can turn off. Yeah, I see them. Yeah. Exterior docking lights, we turn them off. Turn them off again? I don't see any difference. Okay, we have the refueling port, which is... Um, I suppose sorry. that's on the right side with the connectors? Well, I've just reversed them, so there may be a bit of lag. Um, I do you, have no do you idea. See any, do you see any pistons coming out? I'm not saying... Oh, yeah, on the top, on the top. Yeah, then we have the ramps, which, of course, we know we can control them. Reactor... We have the reactor room, which turn is... We can turn them off. Everything goes off, should do. Turn it off. I've turned it off. No, everything is still on. Oh, they're lights, sorry. <laughs> um, we have ship proximity sensors, so it does actually have sensors in here, and those are actually hooked up to warning lights. Yeah, I see the warning lights down here, probably. So I this will them. this will make them flash. If you get close, if I if I actually make them, um, if I actually make them detect players, then if you fly in front of the sensors, yeah, okay, lights should go off. Yeah, they're going off. That is awesome. That is awesome. Indeed. <laughs> I'm a man of sen I'm, I'm a fan of sensors, and it's uh, that is awesome. So, I think we've kept you guys for for long enough now. Yeah, think? I think we're gonna end the video here. <laughs> yeah, what would you rate this? I'd rate this a 10 out of 10. I would definitely rate this 10 out of 10. Usability is absolutely amazing. Yeah, it is no bad thing about this. There's nothing that's bad. No. I mean, it took a while to get used to sort of yeah, using it. Yeah, it does. It, but it's but very innovative. He's, he's trying new stuff, so... Yeah, and it's, it's really nice to see that. And again, the use of the mods is just excellent. So, if you guys have enjoyed this video, then please go and check out Zeno's videos and go check out my videos. Go and check out this build. It will be linked in the description below, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah. Peace.